The charred remains of Nuke London are the backdrop for MFL action at Flumbly Stadium, which proved again today why it's the cheating capital of the league by towing every car in the parking lot to the team-owned impound next door. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Nuke London Hatriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bumblebee park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shady cream dispenser. Check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first to ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Crap! called a time warp dirty trick negating that play completely the offense is pissed well, i wish i had that trick in the elevator with me earlier i let one rip i made a really good one grim and then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on oh, oh. that's why small talk is really put to the test second down in a lot Receiver's pocket and the defense gets a turnover. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And that'll bring up second. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Good thing they have a good test in the MFL. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Back in 2017, they started in. 
implement an extreme alien betting. And you can see how well it all worked out. Man, it was just trying to make America great again, Grim. <laughs> It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Second down and more than the QB would like. the defenders that's a first down and it's first and ten he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path Second and three. Oh man, what a throw. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 10. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, uh, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brickson. And that was a boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten.
And that's another turnover for the defense. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> got to love it. Breaks got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe... A... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. It's first and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. down and well good luck Man, this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bath oh, come on that was a cheap shot <laughs> that's why i love this guy and so are the fans First and ten. Now I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the. Oh, with the brutal hit. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And this game is up for grabs. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. 
When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> and it's first and ten. of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Good mitts on that play, Briggs. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All he need is 77 to bite it. Kidney. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Quinn, I this match. On it. And it looks like the... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm cream. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. from the playbook. What a dud. Third down and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback, and he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh. He refuses to go down! Oh, with the brain scrambler! Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of crown mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. It's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and five. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and five. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcome. 
And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Second and QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. He could go all the way. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The defense is relentless out there and they get the turnover. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go for a striptease show. Where are we going? Hey, once you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Now, you think you'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. And not a oh my god, a man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. <laughs> And it's first and ten. It's a touchdown! No matter how many years in the league, I gotta tell you, this don't get any less scary.
You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. He scores! And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score touchdown and he rumbles that one into the end zone nicely done i can't run like that unless it's coupon night in taco hell he has better footwork though than me on a kind of not clenching his cheeks though don't try to get fancy here just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. Pressure right there, folks. Third down and eight. Well, fee, five, fo, fo. And there's another pick. Making like bricks and fouls. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Yeah, man.
some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, there's no QB. He don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sideline to punt something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Third down and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. And it's first and ten. They get their hands up and block the pass. Second down and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Forfeit the game because all their quarterbacks are dead. There's no one left to throw the ball, so this game is over. Wow, that's one way to win a game. Kill all the players on the opposing team. Eh, don't seem fair, Grim. Hey, life's not fair, dipshit. When it's not kicking in the head, it's kicking in the balls. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Somebody get that guy a beer because he just saved me a thousand bucks. And Nuke London Hatriot to obliterate their opponent today and win the game by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Griff. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.